This is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today I'm in North Chesterfield. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, three full bath home. This home located here in a mature neighborhood in Chesterfield County. Uh, we've got great access here to major highways and interstates, uh, so a very convenient location here on this four tenths of an acre lot. We do have a U-shaped driveway here, which is pretty unique, makes it easy to get in and out of the property. Plenty of paved driveway space here, so you've got enough space here to get two vehicles side by side with no problem. This home built in 1973 was recently renovated, special thanks to the Lemus Powerhouse team for allowing me to bring this beautiful renovated home to you. Uh, they just finished. In fact, we see some construction debris here in the rear. They're going to get rid of that here shortly. We've got a privacy fence here on this side of the home and chain link fence throughout the back side. I'm going to take you back there so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. One thing that we're seeing in today's market is these homes are still going very quickly. It is important if you are in the market to be able to move quickly because in many cases the first three or four days are critical uh, and these homes are under contract so uh, i take great pride in getting out here as soon as they hit the market and bringing them to you we've got a real cute little outhouse here this is interesting because they not only have the outside looking good but in the inside they gave us electricity and we've got paneling in here uh, there is uh, construction uh, materials in here but if this were cleared out Ladies, this would be a good place to send them if they're acting up and uh, until they can get their attitude adjusted, uh, this might be a great place to banish them from the main house. All right, here in the rear, we can see we've got extensive decking, so plenty of space back here for entertaining. Uh, the deck is in great shape, and I'm excited to bring this home to you. Uh, our roof looks good. We have a combination of brick and... I believe that is aluminum siding on this house. We'll double check that here in a second. Right now, we are experiencing uh, still very low interest rates. A uh, home like this actually could be part of the rent to own program. Uh, our homes in that program start at $12.50 a month and up. And uh, it's a great way, especially if you're relocating from out of the area, not quite sure where you want to live. The rent to own program gives you the time to figure all that out and if you want to buy the home that you're renting you can if you want to buy another home you can of course do that with no penalty uh, there is no down payment so it makes it a real convenient and effective way to transition okay this is actually vinyl it's vinyl siding here uh, so we've got a nice low maintenance exterior storm door on the front and I love that mist green we see that over and over today a very popular color Okay, as we come in, one thing that we have in this home uh, that is notable is our flooring. We've got extensive wood flooring throughout this home. There is no carpet in this home either, so it is all solid surface. Nice big open floor plan. This home, of course, was not configured like this in 1973, so I imagine they opened up that wall uh, that's there directly in the middle. Uh, this wall here probably was closed off and they probably had a formal uh, dining room in the right corner of the home. You can see light pours into this beautiful home. We've got replacement windows. An island is in place and these are light gray cabinets. You could probably get maybe three bar stools there. We've got some additional cabinetry on this side. The other side of the kitchen we of course feature granite countertops. We've got a tile backsplash stainless steel appliances you guys can see this plastic that plastic means these are brand new cabinets brand new everything here in this beautiful kitchen double bowl stainless sink good looking fixture there you can use that as needed move it around got a pendant light there over the sink and our refrigerator refrigerator does convey in this home it is there so you would be the recipient of that brand new refrigerator. Let's pop out and take a look here on the back. I love that light. That's a really unique fixture. We've actually seen that before. Okay, here on the back, I love the fact we have some custom seating here on this deck. So the seating already built in there so you wouldn't necessarily have to bring in as many 
chairs back here on this deck. Uh, we've got plenty of space back here. Let's take a look here at the second level. This second level will be a good place to actually put the grill. You can put the grill down here. That way it's not smoking right in your face and uh, everyone else can be up here or uh, relaxing. Or you can put the kids down there, put the little kitty table uh, down at that lower level. All right, let's go back inside and see what we have in store. We're gonna actually start on the lower level this time. See what we've got down there. Uh, I truly appreciate the feedback you guys give. I've been uh, hearing from a lot of you on a regular basis and I truly appreciate it. I read every message that comes in. So uh, I definitely try to uh, pay attention to what you're saying. And I definitely appreciate the kind words. Okay, we've got a three quarter bath here. This is really neat. I've seen two of these here today. This shower is a great use of space. As you can see here at the base, it's not as big as we would typically see, but it's great because if you want to get a shower into a bathroom, this is a good way to do it if you have limited space. So uh, they went ahead and they gave us a nice big shower head there. Uh, you don't have any bedrooms down here, but it's always good to have this capacity, especially since our bathroom is big enough for it to be done. All right, let's transition now to our utility room. We've got a big utility room here in this beautiful home. Directly ahead is where your washer and dryer would go. There are connections. And then we've got all kinds of space in here. This is a great place if you wanted to store the lawnmower, the bicycles, uh, any sporting good equipment, you could do that. And uh, speaking of sporting good equipment, looks like they left us a couple tennis rackets there. Uh, we've got plenty of space here. That door, of course, goes out to the side, and we saw that earlier. This home is heated and cooled with a heat pump, and I can actually see some new plumbing has gone in. You see that uh, PVC line going through uh, all the way over to this water heater, which appears to be brand new. All right, let's take a look at our family room. We've got a family room that's down here uh, on this lower level. This is a great space if you wanted to bring in a pool table or if you had a large television, uh, you could of course bring it in here. Let's take a look at our fireplace here. This is a, this is a, I think that's like an electronic fireplace if I remember correctly. We've got another door that leads out to the side there. This is LVP material here uh, in this level. Nice open space, crown molding and a closet here now this is interesting we have a closet here so theoretically if someone wanted to make this just a large bedroom they could do so you already have a three-quarter bath that's right across the hallway so it's not really designed as a bedroom but if you wanted to you could of course configure it as such okay let's go on upstairs and see what we have here on the top level one thing I love about these secondary bedrooms is they are bigger than we typically see in this floor plan. So you've got good size here. If you wanted to bring in adult size beds, you could definitely do it in this bedroom. Good size closets in this home. They did not skimp on the closets, fortunately. And that's going to do it for bedroom number one. Here to the left is going to be bedroom number two. And I believe this is pretty similar in square footage. Our closet is the same size as the one that we just saw. Good space. And then this is going to be bedroom number three. This is going to be the primary. And our closet, once again, good size. We do have an ensuite here in this primary, which is always a big convenience. That's not always guaranteed in a home that was built in the 70s. So it's nice to have a primary bath in these older homes. We can see they did a great job. We have a tile stand-up shower and the tile goes all the way to the ceiling. They did a great job in bringing it back. I love the flooring that they put in there as well. Okay, here to the left is going to be our hall bath. They did a great job in here. We've got the double bowl sink. That cultured marble is our vanity top. New fixtures, new mirrors, new vanity. 
ceramic tile on the floor. And this is going to be the same material that we just saw in the primary bath. Have the cubby there for your products. And this is a brand new tub. Got the sticker still on it. So a completely new bathroom. Uh, we do have a, another level. This room is, I've seen this plan a number of times and sometimes this space is finished. Sometimes it's just an access panel here. So it varies widely depending on what uh, the builder and the previous owners did. Okay, here in this space, we do have a knee wall. I'm 5'7", I can come to about here. So I don't get full use of this space. However, this would be a great space for a child, a teenager, somebody wanted to make it a craft room, a playroom. Uh, you could do a uh, home gym, home theater. So many uses for this space, especially since it's long and narrow. That's ideal for home theater use. And we have a walk-in closet that's here to the left. Super convenient and plenty of additional storage space. This is better than an attic because an attic can be kind of nasty, it can be dusty. An attic is not, by definition, is not climate controlled. So that space is climate controlled and if you're storing items, sometimes that makes a big difference keeping them at normal room temperature. Okay, that's gonna do it for this beautiful home. If you have questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor for me to help. I can be reached on Facebook under Rich Manary Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you'd be so kind. Thank you so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.